Welcome back to another Monday Motivation. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Monday Motivation. Hey, thank you all for the comments and emails and phone calls and uh, love that this has sparked your curiosity around justifying your investment, the problem that you've solved, the return on investment, tangible and intangible. I know a lot of you as personal clients of mine uh, have enjoyed going through this recently with you know, liquidated damages and reverse LDs and things like that. So I wanted to take it a step further um, because sometimes you can go through this process and often you may not, depending on the product or service that you sell, you may not be able to give them a real tangible return on investment because you're talking about what if strategies. Um, uh, for example, you could be selling a bull bar and sometimes you can talk about a tangible return on investment meaning how much will it cost them um, to write off their car if they run into a kangaroo, right? Yeah, fair enough, you might be able to do that, but it's still a hypothetical. So most of your sale will be based on intangible return on investment, based on reduced risk, uh, increased time. Time's a one that you could do tangibly, but the intangible is probably more of the fact that people buy it from a, from a sense of comfort, knowing that they've got security. That's why we buy insurance as well, right? Yeah, you could measure it tangibly, but most of the insurance that we buy is based on intangible ROI, meaning you don't even have to think about it anymore. You know that you're taken care of. But I wanna take you to step two, because sometimes if you find that it's a little bit tricky to navigate through this, and your potential client fully doesn't understand the depth of this decision, they don't understand the tangible ROI, intangible. Number two, what you can overlay on top of that is what we call social proof. Um, there's this very common thing for human beings. Let's say you're renovating a space or you're, you know, you're building. A lot of people can't visualize for themselves what their house is going to look like or they can't really picture it. Like most people have a very uh, difficult time doing that. And sometimes your clients are going to do the same. They have a difficult time picturing it for themselves. So sometimes what you can do from a sales or marketing strategy is overlay social proof so that they can see themselves in an example of someone else. So you might do that through a case study. You might do that through a testimonial. But the biggest one I like, you can do that through storytelling. Okay? And a lot of people miss out on this opportunity. So they might not see it for themselves. They might even believe, oh, that'll never happen for me. You could go in to say, this kind of reminds me of a time this guy called John came in and saw me and he was looking for a XYZ product. And at the time he wasn't really sure whether he needed it or not. And that's often the case when people are making a decision like this, they're kind of like, I know I need it, but I'm, you know, that will probably never happen to me. Getting your will done, getting your financial planning done, all that sort of stuff. That'll, that'll never happen to me. But John went on to say of the next three months, some really interesting things happened for him. And unfortunately, da, 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 da. And you go on with the story of how John didn't believe that he needed this, glad that he did in hindsight. And really what we're talking about here is a hindsight decision. Most people are so glad that they did rather than they wish that they did. And you can create that around your case studies, testimonials or storytelling. So this is another way that you can justify your investment. One, make sense of the problem articulation, uh, understand return on investment, investment both tangibly and intangibly, but lastly, overlay social proof on top of this with testimonials, case studies, and first person storytelling. And sometimes they'll be able to picture themselves in the story of John rather than kind of seeing it for themselves. So hope that helps. Um, hope that gives you a little bit more insight into the justification of your investment. And as always, any way I can help you, shoot me a message, leave me a comment. I'm here to help.